Hey guys, I thought I'd do a grocery haul for you before we put all of this away. Heather just got back from the grocery store, so I thought I'd show you what she picked up. She grabbed some cheddar and sour cream chips, some Zyrtec allergy medicine. We got a loaf of bread. We got shaving cream. We're having wings tonight, so wing sauce for that, and homemade ranch to go with it. Toothpaste, chocolate chip cookies, dog food, cat food, tuna for the cats, um, Vaina sausages, Spam. I love fried Spam sandwiches. Um, birthday cakes. Strawberry shortcake snack cakes. Fries. Popcorn chicken. Spaghetti and meatballs. Wings that we're having tonight. We got three packs of those. And then a pack of tenders because I don't like eating meat off of a bone. Especially chicken. We got bacon and lettuce and tomato for BLTs. Turkey, carbon board turkey, three Red Bulls, a blueberry, and a tropical. We got Ritz crackers, Duncan coffee, or the cat on the table, Duncan coffee. And these little things were on clearance, and we got those maybe a week ago. We got a couple boxes, and we went back and got all they had because they were so good. Um, I think I showed these Scoobies snacks maybe I don't know if I did it right but Scooby fruit snacks red Powerade orange Powerade gain detergent we got three sprites and a diet Dr. Pepper and all of this was she said over $200 so not sure exactly but I know these alone were like 25 or something so yeah there you go Time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by and watching and I hope you enjoy and it gives you some cleaning motivation. Thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars yeah. But we smashed up all the parts Today we're doing all the things We decided to pull our stove out And see what was under it and behind it And it was awful We haven't done this since we moved in And we'll be here a year in December So it was way overdue And we need to do the refrigerator too Because I'm sure it's just as bad but there was all kinds of things under here. Knives, spoons, dirt. I mean, it was bad. And this stove was very light. It wasn't hard to pull out or push back at all. So maybe your alls won't be either. But maybe this will give you some motivation to get up and pull your stove out and see what's under it. The sides of my stove were pretty bad too. There was also some paint on the side from where they painted the cabinets. I guess they got a little on the stove on the edges. But yeah, it was pretty bad. So I decided to get a broom and just go from there to sweep all this stuff out and get all that up. And then I'm going to spray on the sides of the stove and the sides of the cabinet and even the counter just from where things fall down in between there. It was disgusting. So yeah, maybe it'll give you some motivation to pull yours out and see what yours looks like and tackle that. Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat We keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, down, down Baby going down, 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 down And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know Show you my intent. 
attention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention so here I'm just going in and I'm spraying down the side of the stove. There had been stuff that had ran down and just crumbs and things along the top from where it gets wedged in between the stove and the counter. And excuse the way I hair because I just got out of the shower, but I was just feeling the motivation so I just jumped in there and did it. And honestly, if I had took the time to dry my hair and put makeup on, I probably would have been out of the mood to clean. So around here, I just do things as I feel it and it's not often that I feel it but it's just real life and so it is what it is but no matter what yours looks like or what your house looks like just just get up and do a little at a time and it'll get there and it don't matter how fancy it is or how old your appliances are or whatever just take pride in them and clean them up and you know the older appliances last way way longer than the new ones in my opinion. But yeah, I was just wiping down my floor. The baseboard's pretty nasty and I had stuff stuck on the floor that would not come up. I don't know if it was paint or what. And then here, the wall was disgusting from where things had splattered up on it. And I wanna do a backsplash here. My wall is a lot gray and the counters are gray. They're, well, you've seen them, they're just kind of mixed in different colors, but I really don't know what to put up there. If solid white would look good or just something with some gray mixed in it maybe. But I think a backsplash would help so, so much with the dirt and wiping things off. Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome to Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around and then all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no, not yet. Whoa. I just wanted to throw in there that I'm not the kind of person that pulls my stove out every week or every month I mean, it may be once a year when I do this stuff I wish I was better about doing stuff like this, but I'm not. And I'm not gonna get on here and pretend that I am. I'm not gonna get on here and clean the mess up and then clean a clean house for y'all either. I just wanna be real and show all of the real life messes and just to show you guys that if you're not feeling it, you're not alone. I don't feel it on most days either. And I just want to try to give you all some motivation. This gives me motivation just making videos so yeah, I hope this helps somebody. If it's one person, then it's that much. Rarely get in the mood to do things like this. It just seems so overwhelming to me just to think about like cleaning my cabinets out or I need to clean the front of the cabinets. I need to clean the top of the cabinets, wipe everything down. But it just, it seems so overwhelming. And there's a lot of days that I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to deal with it. But I just have to push myself to do it. And Heather's very motivating. She, you know, she'll jump right in there and be like, let's do this. I'll help you. And it kind of gets me motivated. So maybe I can be that person for you to get you up and get you motivated. Because after you're done, it just feels so much better to have a clean space, a clean counter, clean kitchen. There's This kitchen needs a deep clean. We need to clean this kitchen. When we moved in this house, it hadn't been cleaned yet. The people who moved out actually even left some things. And we were just in a hurry, so we just brought everything on, in on top of it. And we didn't know the people who owned this house before us, but we did come look at it when they were here one day. And they are very clean, nice people. So I didn't even feel bad about moving in before it was clean because you could just tell that they were clean people, if you know what I mean. But yeah, we just need to go through here and pull everything out and deep clean and I need to organize the cabinets. And a lot of the cabinets, like that brown cabinet, you open the door and you have to push everything back in it and shut it real quick before everything falls out. So yeah, it definitely needs a good cleaning and organizing. So maybe that'll be a video soon.
So as you noticed, I'm sure Opie, our little cat, is in every clip. He is the most curious thing. And watching this back, I laugh so hard because he's just like a little creeper. He's just creeping around in every little clip. But I had a hard time pushing this stove back because the cord was in a bind. So I got the broom and lifted that cord up and pushed that back and it went back. I found this little tablet under the stove or just this little toy. And so I threw that to Flash and he played with it for a few minutes, but then we threw it away because I don't want him, I'm sure there's a battery or something in it and I don't want him getting anything like that and choking or anything on it. But yeah, it's, it's so hard to get up and get yourself motivated. I would rather sit on the couch and eat or do nothing, honestly. But I, if once I get up and I do something like this, I feel so much better. So if you'll just get up and just, even if it's five minutes, I do a power hour, but even if it's five minutes picking up your house, maybe do five minutes, five or six times a day, and you'll be surprised at what you get done. So I hope this gives you some motivation to get up and get some stuff done. And I hope it comes easier for you than it does me because I'm not motivated most days. Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Okay, so our drain smells like roadkill And bleach or nothing else will help So we're going to try bacon soda and vinegar like you used to make a volcano isn't that what they used in school to make a volcano mm -hmm. okay so it's supposed to work how much you poured on this the whole box a cup, a cup? okay <laughs> we'll just do half and then half so we can use the other half don't again do that. don't do it yet, don't do it yet? Mm -hmm. well, what do we do with that Construction say. So what? <coughs> construction. The construction say. say. Your prescribers. Cup of baking soda into your disposal. Let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes and absorb and loosen stick on debris and odor. Step two, add a cup of vinegar and let the bubbles work for 10 minutes. Step three, turn on the cold water, then turn on the disposal for about 10 seconds. I'll serve the awesome it. Which I bet. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. Yep. Okay, we'll see what it does. Now what? I don't want to trust it. Yeah. Guess that's timer for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's about 10 minutes. 
Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow So Allison made some brownies. I wanted to show you all that. But Heather and I love macaroni and tomatoes. So we put some hamburger meat and corn in that with it. And then put some tomato sauce. Then we canned some homemade tomatoes. And we added some of those to that as well. And it is so good. I know a lot of people think that it's so gross, but I love this. I grew up eating macaroni and tomatoes and I love it. It is good. If you haven't ever tried it, I think it's a Southern thing, but if you haven't ever tried it, try this. It is so good. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you don't care, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.